सो हे गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल फॉर ट्यूटोरियल्स सो गाइस टुडे आई टीच यू हाउ टू क्रिएट न्यू स्टाइल ऑफ क्लोज सिमुलेशन एनिमेशन विदाउट यूजिंग एनी पेड एंड थर्ड पार्टी एड ऑन गाइस आई एम यूज साइकिल वेंडर सो गाइस नाउ आई शो यू माय फाइनल वेंडर Okay, so guys, first click. So click on here and delete your all assets like this. So now, guys, go to on add mesh and use this one. Echo spill this one, yes. And guys, size I change. So guys, see that's my radius. I like zero point three, and guys, segments increase. So guys, see that's my subdivision. Double four is good for me. Okay, so now guys, right click shade smoother, yes. And next one, guys, I apply some force effect. So go to on add force field. So firstly, guys, I use this one harmonic, yeah. And guys, go to on setting. Guys, see that's my strength. Strength I like three hundred is good for me. Yeah, that's simple. Okay, so now, guys, you can also change seed. Seed I like five is good. Okay, so next one, guys. I apply this time turbulence. This one here, trouble. And guys, I change location. So guys, go to one here. So change. So guys, up like this. And I take two is good. Yes. And guys, go to one here. The strength I like eight hundred, eight hundred. And see, guys, that's my size two and flow. I like. Ten, and see guys, that's my noise amount. I like randomly ten is good for me. And see guys, that's my seed. Seed I like two. Simple, right? That's my simple settings. Okay, so now guys, select your trouble and duplicate. Control C and V and change position like this. So guys, select this one here and like minus two. Yeah. Okay, so now guys, select both turbulence like this, and again duplicate. So guys, go to on here. Yes, right. See guys, that's my rotation ninety. See guys, that's my simple composition. Okay, so now guys, I apply this time cloth effect on this one spare. So guys, go to on here and use cloth, cloth check, and guys, see that's my quality. I like. Ten, and see guys, that's my vertex mass. I like zero point one. Yes, and guys, go to down pressure, pressure check. Guys, pressure I like three is good for me. Okay, so guys, go to on catch a, and see guys, that's my end. I like six hundred is good. Guys, you can increase end frame is dependent on your work. Like eight hundred is good, but guys, it's only total part. I use only six hundred, and guys, go to on collision. And quality, I like five. Yes, and guys, see that's my object. Object is good. Okay, so guys, now all is good. And go to back and play. Yes. Okay, see guys, that's my sphere. So guys, I change also gravity is not good. So guys, go to back and go to on here. That's my gravity here. Gravity uncheck. Yes, and guys, go to back and play. Yes. Much better. See, guys, that's my like a vibration effect, right? It's really simple. Okay, so now, guys, I apply more objects like a more this one spare, guys, frame like a five hundred. Okay, so actually six hundred. Yes. Okay, so guys, select this spare, and guys, I apply array effect, array. And guys, count I like two and increase factor like one point one. Okay, so guys, duplicate one more time. Count I like three and factor zero. X one increase same one point one like this. Guys, create shape like this. Okay, so guys, now I create individually. 
so guys go to on array and apply and apply like this right and guys go to on edit mode here and select all and press p that's my loose part check yes see guys that's my all individually spares okay go to on object mode and guys now i apply this time random so guys go to on object transform and i apply randomized transform this one yes okay so guys see that's my location i like simple one and z11 one, one. yeah see guys i create randomly spare so guys right click and set origin to use origin to use geometry yes and guys press shift s so guys use this one yeah right it's really simple guys okay so guys now select and guys go to on back and play yes see guys that's my moving spares but guys see that's not correct so guys now i apply collision effect on this one spares so guys go to back and now guys go to on spare and see guys that's my collision collision check guys apply one by one collision check yes right i apply collision on all spares so guys now go to back and play yes okay so guys back and first select first one i select first one spare and guys see that's my bake so guys and frame i like 250 is good and bake check guys take little bit time for baking okay so guys now i stop this baking it take time yeah and guys go to back and play yes see guys that's my spares right it's really simple okay so now okay so guys now stop and go to back so guys next one i apply this time one more spare so guys this time i use round cube this one that's my round cube yes and guys radius i like one and guys see that's my segments i like 16 yeah right see guys that's my object okay so guys next one increase this spare size so press s letter increase like this yeah it's good okay so guys go to on here see guys that's my outer spare so guys go to on in on spare yes this one also yes right see guys that's my objects all spares in this one and right click guys shade smoother and guys go to wireframe press one yeah it's good so guys select this cube and select this one it's overlapping yes really good see guys that's my object and next one guys this time i apply same cloth effect on here this one so guys go to on here cloth and guys see that's my quality i like same 10 and see guys that's my vertex mass i like 20 and see guys that's my stiffness i like all five five and five and see guys that's my dumping i like zero all zero dumping zero yes and guys don't use pressure and guys go to on here quality i like scene five and guys self collision check yeah that's it guys right okay so guys one more time select this rectangle and bake all check guys second one you can also use bake all dynamic okay so guys my baking is finished now go to back and play yes see guys that's really smooth effect right okay so now guys i apply smoothness so right click on this outer cube and right click shade smoother and apply subdivision surface and guys render i like same four and render four viewport level four see guys that's my beautiful cloth effect 
and now guys one more time go to back and play yes really good see guys that's really so easy tutorial guys okay so now guys i apply transparent material so guys stop and guys select guys go to on shading and apply new material guys color you can use anyone it is dependent on your work but i like blue 0 0.6 and 1 and 1 okay so guys specular 0 and roughness 0 0.2 yeah and guys yeah all is good go to transmission i like 1 and alpha 0 0.9 yeah that's it guys see that's my transparent okay so now guys go to on here layout and i apply light so guys go to on add and use area light guys go to on up light select and guys see that's my power like a 300 is good and size i like two yes right and guys see that's my color i like red okay so next one guys select this light and duplicate so go to down yes and rotate this light like this same 90 and guys i change this one light color i like this time blue color and the yes right it's so easy so guys select this one and increase size like a 2.5 okay so select and duplicate that's my blue light and rotate like this same minus 180 okay so guys my lighting is good and next one guys i will apply one more that's for my front light front and rotate rotate like this same minus 90 and guys go to on mid yes right okay so now guys i apply camera and go to on here camera check guys go to back and press zero yes and guys set your camera angle and guys go to back little bit up like this and back yes good okay so now guys go to on background i like black color black and guys i use cycle render and guys divide gpu check and guys see that's my max and i like 512 and 258 yes and click on here yes see guys that's my beautiful material and beautiful transparent color it's really good and guys go to on here increase frame like this yes it's really good right Okay, so now guys click on here. That's my final one. And guys go to back and play. And yes. Okay, see guys, that's my final render. It's really beautiful. And now guys go to on here. And guys frame rate. I use 30 FPS and output. Go to on desktop, create new folder like this. And take any file name. Yeah and go to back and play go to on here render and render animation check okay so now guys my final animation is finished so if you like my video please share and please subscribe my youtube channel and guys you can download this project file from my website it's free so guys i show you my one frame render render image check yes right okay so guys thank you